Okay, everyone, this is, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to make the Bluetooth tumblers in the heat press. So basically what we're gonna do first is the taping process of the tumbler. And I have my trusty cradle to help out with that. All right, so we're gonna take, first step we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the, the seam taping. I'm just gonna take a piece of tape, go like this. And you wanna put the seam tape just over the back of the image where the seam's gonna go. You do not wanna to get too close. You wanna still see a little bit of white on the seam. So just like that, just going right across here. Also, don't tug on the tape. You don't want it to be tight when you're putting the seam down. So it's gonna look just like that. We're gonna cut the excess off. Same at the top, we're gonna cut the excess off here. Without cutting your finger. All right. So now we're going to take the tumbler. Make sure there's no bubbles in the seam here. And then we're going to go right across like this. We're going to go the absolute opposite way. Make sure your image is right side up. And what I usually do is I will make sure it goes across. I do want a little bit. For the Bluetooth tumblers, I want this to come down just over the lip and just have a little bit on here as well. So we're just gonna push it just enough. There you go. And then I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna put it just like this. I'm gonna make it nice and tight. So I'm gonna push and just spin and tight it really nice and tight. Okay. Now I see I have to make an adjustment because I can still see white up top here. You adjust that. Again, you want it nice and tight. There we go. And then we're gonna take our cradle, we're gonna take our tape. And we're gonna take one tape, go right across, and make sure you pull. So you always wanna pull so it's nice and tight. This is the boring process. Adding the tape, so we're just gonna take the tape and pull. The tape and pull. Some people will use less tape. I don't mind using a little bit more tape. Okay, now we're gonna add, I'm gonna add one more up here, just a little. Now what I want to do is make the tops nice and tight against the, the top and bottom nice and tight. So pull tape. Before I do that, I'm going to do the seam. So we got the seam and if you can see here after you tape, you can still see the seam lifting up in those areas. So we're going to take a piece of tape. What you're going to do is tape on this side of the tumbler first and then push this way towards you so you can really get it sticking nice. So you don't wanna push down totally until. So what I usually do here is I will just push on this side first and then I push this way. That really gets the seam sticking and stretching out the paper so there's no overlap, no gap. I give it a nice rub, rub down. So what you can do is just rub it down and you just gotta make sure you can see there's no gap. And if there is, just kind of push down really tight. Now we're gonna do the ends. And always go with the flow of the paper. The paper is spinning this way, so it overlaps. 
So we're gonna go the opposite direction. We're gonna take the tape right up to the top and you're gonna pull really hard. Just nice and tight. And do the same thing on the other side. And pull nice and tight. All the way across. There you go. And that's it. Now that tumbler is ready for the press and I'll show you that on the next step. Okay, so we're gonna put the tumbler we just did in the tumbler press. The first thing you wanna do is adjust the press. So I suggest taking a blank tumbler first and we're gonna slide the blank tumbler in Okay, now remember it's gonna get hot really quick. So make sure you have gloves with you when you take it out. So we're gonna take the blank one. We're gonna close the tumbler. And you want it to be snug enough. So you're gonna take your glove. And if you can't move it, that's what you want. You don't wanna be able to move it. If you can, you can feel it nice and tight. So you're gonna just tighten it up there. I always keep the front adjustments all the way to the end. I don't really adjust those yet. I just adjust these. So this is nice and tight. What I did as well, I actually marked it in here with a marker. So that way I know where the setting is. Um, but some tumblers are different. So you're just gonna take out the test piece. Once you get the settings correct, now you're gonna put the one that you just taped up. Right where the seam is, it's very important because the seam is where you're gonna get the, the misalignment all the time if you don't do it right. So make sure it's nice and tight and always put the seam face down so it's on the bottom of the press, okay? And slide that right in there, right in the middle. And just close it for 60 seconds. Now with this press, it is a silent press, so it will not beep when it's done. So make sure you know this and you're around. If you wanna set your own timer off to the side, <clears throat> you can, but this is a silent press, so there's no beeping. Once you finish the 60 seconds for the, the tumbler press, you're gonna switch, you can actually do the, the seam facing the front of the press. So you're gonna turn the actual tumbler until the seam is facing the front. 10 seconds left. Okay. Now again, we're gonna turn this, basically a quarter turn, so that the seam is facing the front. You never want the seam to face up. And we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. The reason why you don't want the seam to face up is because it'll push the paper because there is a slight gap with the press, the way it works, that the, the paper could move enough to where you get the seam shown. So you don't want to put the seam up. Okay, now we're going to take the tumbler and we're going to rotate it so that the seam faces all the way in the back. And we're going to close it for 10 seconds. And that's it. You're done. Next video, we'll show you what it looks like. All right, so now here's the reveal. So we're going to take... First, we're gonna undo the bottoms. Make sure you do it, you gotta find the right end. And just gonna unravel the whole bottom. Same at the top. Unravel the top. 
Of course, I need to find the right. And right there. And we're going to unravel the top here. Just like that. And then we're going to do the long strip that we have in the middle. And then we're going to take the top here. And we have this strip right here. And this is right down the seam. You can actually pull it right down. I use tweezers, they work really well. I let it cool a little bit too much. I like to do it right away. So it doesn't. And there it is, and that's your seam. I don't know if you can see it, but there's really no seam. And that's what it looks like after we're done with the tumbler press.